wait. This isn't right. Hello guys, my name is Sarin and welcome to a brand new video on this channel. Today, as you can see, we have a team going on here. We're gonna draw a T. Because I don't know what to draw. I'm slowly, slowly turning into PewDiePie. No ideas, guys. We're gonna do a sketch with me. And we're gonna draw teacups with different types of tea. By the way, this isn't all of the tea I have. I actually have more. But I couldn't be bothered to bring everything here. So, um, this is what you get. Should we start? Yeah, I guess. We should start. Um, which one are we drawing first? My favorite one. I need to clean this up now. Rolling monkeys jumping on a bed. Wait. Damn it. Mint. Let's do this. First of all, let me just clear out everything. I'm not British, but I wish I was. Can you see? You probably can. I'm sorry. Huh? <coughs> Bless me. Today we are drawing ta -ta 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 tea. We're drawing different types of tea in different cups. How original. Um, I drew mint, chamomile and rose hip. I actually had no idea how to say rose hip before the day I was drawing it, so that's a point plus for my intelligence side, right? Um, if you don't like tea, I feel bad for you because you're missing out. Also, uh, today I'm talking just about the herbal tea, because I never drank tea with milk. What? What even is that British thing that they are doing? Um, here is just tea bag, warm water, dip, drink, ready to go. I'm sorry if this video isn't really your cup of tea. I apologize for the previous pun, please ignore it and we'll just continue like never, like it never happened. Thank you! So, while I was drawing tea, I thought about what am I going to talk in this video because it's a sketch with me so it's relaxed and it's pretty long. So let's talk about some of my book and movie suggestions. That's cool, right? Edgy. I mean, if I continue voice soaring like this, I will have to apologize every five seconds. Down in the description, I will mark the time when I talk about books, movies, and I'm gonna include the TV shows, so you can watch any of the stuff you are interested in specifically. Okay, so we are going to start with books. The first book is... Harry Potter, but I think you all know my love for Harry Potter, so I'm just gonna skim over that and I will assume that you already know what Harry Potter is and what it isn't. Second book is any book by, by Cecilia Ahern, or however you pronounce her name. Uh, she is a writer that wrote um, P.S. I Love You, Over the Rainbow and every other amazing love kind of book. She's amazing, you should really check out her books and um, you can really follow them easily and they are really relaxing in a way and really sad as well. But I do recommend all of her books. The third book or books are Agatha Christie novels. I really enjoy them, especially the Poirot ones and Miss Mabel and it's really interesting and it gets you hooked up and you can't really stop so you have to finish them all and they're great with a cup of tea. Now we're going to go on to movies. The first movie I recommend is Prayers to Bobby. 
it's a very old movie and it's an LGBTQ plus movie and it's really really um, strong and it's um, based on a true event and I really like the movie and I recommend and you can also find it on YouTube the entire movie. This movie is also kind of an oldish movie but I'm recommending it for a reason because of the story behind it. Um, I watched this movie when I was 11 and I remembered it completely and all these years I never knew the title until recently I found out and it's Lovely Bones and uh, that movie really marked my memory I guess and I remembered it forever so if you have some nerves and if you're not too sensitive I recommend watch it. Next movie I recommend is Good Will Hunting, uh, also kind of an oldish movie. I'm a sucker for oldish movies. Um, it's really interesting and I think it goes great with a cup of tea and the story plot or storyline is really to think of, kinda. It's really mesmerizing. Last movie I'm recommending is About Time and I really love the concept of the movie and I think the actor is Anne Hathaway and it's really good, I love it and you should check it out. Last thing on my non-existent list are TV shows and I want to start with Murdoch Mysteries and that's the show that just ended here on Croatian National Television and I love it so much, it's about a detective and it's really really good and I really love it. And you should check it out, I'm um, not sure is the last season out yet, but if you know, tell me. <laughs> I didn't watch the last season yet, but I really want to, I really love the show. Second so-called show uh, is, I'm not sure is this even a show, but I find myself watching it a lot these days and it's Britain's Got Talent slash America's Got Talent slash X Factor slash all of those talent shows and I don't know it's really entertaining and there is like every episode on YouTube so you don't have to pay and it's <laughs> I don't know I find it very entertaining I don't know even is it a show is it a series I don't know but it's entertaining for me and you can watch it if you want, just type in the YouTube search bar. So the third show, we kind of have a problem here because I'm too lazy to go and install the beeping sound and to beep it, but the name is The End of the Effing World. You know what I mean, right? I don't, I'm too lazy to go and beep it out now. And it's a great show, it's really, really, um, it's, uh, it's really short. And you can watch it in one sitting if you're like me. <laughs> and it's entertaining. It's great. We have some time. I'm just gonna tell you some songs slash bands slash singers that I discovered recently or knew for a long time that I want to share. Um, 30 Seconds to Mars I just discovered and wow, amazing. I love it. Then there's obviously Ed Sheeran, Sleeping at Last, Grace Van Der Waal. Also, I'm Maroon 5, I love, um, Bastille, and there's also a few songs by the Stambrellas, or whatever you call that, and Troy Sivan, obviously a long-time favorite. Is it embarrassing to say that I've been listening to the Coco soundtrack? It is? I don't care, it has amazing songs, listen to Coco soundtrack. I'm pretty sure that's everything I have to say for today. And I'm aware that not everyone is going to like this video because it's very different from the stuff I do other days and I'm sorry. So if you have some of your own ideas, leave them down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, follow and comment down below and like this video. Also follow me on Instagram, Sarah Renart. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!